sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. We. I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. Shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey, Tig! It can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Whee! Hey, Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Angel said she would stay. Angel had Wooly under Mummy's work. Here's a chair. <laughs> it's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Subway. When I was little, I liked going on the subway train. Wooly liked going on the subway train too. It was fun going down under the ground. It was scary and exciting. When the train rumbled and roared out of the tunnel, it squeaked and hissed and stopped. It was like magic when the door slid open and we got on. I was so happy rattling and shiggling through the tunnels on the subway train. I love the subway train. Wooly loved the subway train too. One day my friend Angel 
came to play. We played subway trains all day. We drew pictures of subway trains. We made tunnels for the subway trains. Wooly pretended to be a train. How about you build tunnels all around the room and then you can be the subway trains? Yeah. yeah. Mummy gave us lots of old sheets and blankets. We made tunnels all over the place. We hooted and went through our tunnels. Sometimes we bumped. Mummy liked our fun. Who wants to go on a real subway? Who wants to ride on a real subway? Before we left, we played sliding doors. Thank you. We played subway trains all the way to the station. OK, we have to be sensible now. We're going to go on a real subway, so no more playing. When we got to the station, we played sliding doors. No more playing, oh, so said Mummy. But me no and Angel playing. were having uh, fun. Then Thank Mummy you. stopped us. She no stood between playing. us okay, we so we couldn't play. Come on said Mummy. Going underground wasn't fun anymore. The subway train wasn't exciting. There was no magic. Mummy had spoiled our fun. Hey Tig, it doesn't seem fair when someone spoils your fun. It's not nice when someone stops your game. But there are some places where it's wrong to play. There are some places where you need to take special care. The subway is no place to run around and play. Everywhere on the subway, things are moving. The escalator's going up and down. Trains arriving and leaving. Doors opening and closing. People coming and going. So Mummy isn't spoiling your fun. Mummy is taking special care of you and Angel. But hey Tig, that doesn't mean you can't still have fun and enjoy the ride. Just sit back and relax. No need to play a game when you have all the fun of a real train. Go for it Tig. Say sorry to Mummy and no more train games until you're home again. Yes, I thought. Mummy was right. A real subway is no place to play. Sorry, Mummy, I said. Oh, thank you, Tig. <laughs> Mummy let me and Angel sit together. We had fun on the real subway train. Just looking and shiggling along. When we got home, we played subway trains again. When Mummy saw Willy, she nearly <gasps> fell over. It's only a toy spider. I like subway trains. And I love Willy. We've been guests since we were busy. Busy. When I was little, my mommy and daddy had a very busy day. Me and Willy had a busy day too. I was busy doing my jigsaw. Mommy and daddy were busy talking. Talk, talk, talk. Off we go. Well, we can do that when we come but back. my jigsaw, I said. Okay. Rush, rush, rush. We got into the car. Where's Willy? Where's Willy? Daddy stopped the car. At least the brakes work, said Mummy. Mummy picked up Willy. Willy was just doing your jigsaw. Willy was trying to do the jigsaw. So was I. Daddy drove to the garage. See you later. Mummy rushed off. We went into a room with a window. We saw the car go up into the air. A man came to talk to Daddy. Daddy's busy. In a minute, said Daddy. Talk, talk, talk. Whiz! The wheels came off the car. 
the wheels went back in the car. Whizz! Hooray! The wheels worked. Daddy drove us to the printers. Hi there. Hi there. I'm supposed to be meeting my wife here. Right. Talk, talk, talk. For a presentation document. What are you talking about, Daddy? In a minute, said Daddy. Mummy came through the door. Oh, hi. Hi. Mummy! Daddy left to go to work. Bye. I need to get... Talk, talk, talk. ...size print scan to PDF and about... Mummy, what are you talking about? Yeah, Just I in could, a minute, Ted. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Do you want to do some drawing for me? Mummy gave me some drawing. Come on, here we go. One, two, three. Whee! Oh, sorry about that. That's OK. So... I drew a sun. Look, Mummy, a sun. Just in a minute, Tig. Mummy's busy. In a minute, said Mummy. Talk, talk, talk. I didn't like Mummy always busy. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when no one listens to you. It's not nice when no one looks at your pictures. But, Tig, Mummy and Daddy are having a busy day. You need to let them be busy. When Mummy and Daddy are busy, you need to be busy too. You've done one drawing, so why not do some more drawings? Why not make your very own jigsaw? Well, you've got one piece of your jigsaw, a sun. Here's another piece. Mm, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo -ba. Mm -hmm. What's that, do you think? <laughs> a roof. For a house. There's one half of your jigsaw. All you've got to do now is finish off the other half. What are you going to put under the sun? Tig. Yes, Tig. A picture of you would look great there. Go for it, Tig. Get busy. Yes, I thought. I can be busy too. Oh, well done, Tig. You've been so busy. You've done a jigsaw. The printer man made another of my jigsaws for Daddy. So when nice. the printer man saw Willy, he made a face. Ah! It's only a toy spider. I like Mummy and Daddy being busy. I like being busy too. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Willy came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo-hoo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Hello there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. <laughs> Through the country. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Under the bridge. Chuff, chuff, chuff. I love the train. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chuffed. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. 
Good girl. Time for lunch. Before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I hid Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops. Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hi, Tig. When you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day is for talking about to Mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at Daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey! And there's more fun to come! Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff! Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. We were happy again. Oh, there. Do you have tickets? I showed Willie to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. <laughs> I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right. go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake Hi, a cake instead? Said Daddy. Right. We washed our hands. And puss on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Daddy chopped the carrots and I grated them in a special machine. Daddy grated orange skins. All of it? We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop went the carrots and oranges. Yuck! We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. Want to do another one? I mixed up the mush. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said. Just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye, cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, okay? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said. We Not yet, Tig. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't 
feel like waiting. Hey, Tig. Waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> Waiting for things to happen can be angry making too. <laughs> the trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I help Daddy do the washing up. Okay. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. You waited again for the cake to cool. Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider. Ah, oh, you got me. It's a little spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willie. We've been together since we were here. One step at a time. When I was little, my daddy took me to buy some eggs. Hi, Dada. This is Willie. Oh, I love Willie. We didn't go to the shops. We went a long, long way away to the country. Willie. Go and get Willie. Willie came too. In the country, we went through a gate. We walked through some long grass. Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? We walked down a long, long lane. The long, long lane was very smelly. Stinky. What's that smell, Daddy? I think it's a cow. I wanted to see the cow. I've never seen a real cow before. I think the cows are busy. Busy mooing, I said. At the end of the lane, we saw a scarecrow. Scarecrow! Oh, what's he missing? Big hat. He put the scarecrow's hat on. Whoa, look at that hat. Do you want to think? Look. <laughs> Let's put him on his shoulder. Whoa. I really like the scarecrow. <laughs> I want to see the cow. I see the cow. No, we need to go and get eggs first. Daddy said no, we had to get the eggs. We came to a farm. I knocked on the door. Oh, well done. A giggly farmer opened the door. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to get the eggs just for me. You come to get some eggs? Yeah, we'd better go and see the chickens then. OK. Come on, come on. The giggly farmer took us to see the chickens. I wanted to see the cow. The chickens laid some eggs for me and Daddy. We put them into a box. I picked them up and counted them. That was good, wasn't it? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pleasure. Oh, there you go. Bye-bye, Farmer Giggly. The long, long lane was very smelly. Come on, Tig. I want to see the cow. Moo! Mm. Oh, <gasps> what's that? A big animal was looking at us. I don't like the big animal. There's nothing to be scared of. It's all right. It's only a cow, said Daddy. Don't like cows. Too big. Come on. It's quite safe. It's behind a gate. Not past a cow, I said. Come on, we need to get home. No. Why not try it one step at a time? Wooly whispered. Tig, one step at a time, it's easy. OK, you go. <laughs> Tig, 
one step at a time, like Grandmother's footsteps. Come on, creep up on me. Saw you! Gotcha. Oh, well done, Teg. That was brilliant. You walked past the cow. You passed the cow, he said. Should we show the cow, Willie? <laughs> Look, Willie. Funny cow. <coughs> Silly cow. It's only my toy spider. Bye. Bye. Hey. Come on, then. Home now, said Daddy. Yeah, come on, then. I like cows. And I love Willie.